Plans by government to reap from the country's tourism industry are seen a target of hitting 1.5 million visas set out against the current 1.3 million. It is going to be very difficult to become a middle income by 2020 unless this growth becomes double digit. Unless you attain and more percent of growth, it is difficult to become a middle income country by 2020. Therefore, for this driving force, tourism gives you the greatest potential to do that. In accelerating tourism growth to attain middle income status by the year 2020, as its theme, the industry will have to benefit from the $100 single East African tourism visa initiated three years ago. As far as Uganda is concerned, it is uh, being done online and uh, we have seen a growth in terms of people who are accessing the visa and it's, it's something we are promoting and as far as we are concerned. It's... Apart from enticing foreign visas to survive Uganda's natural versatile tourism profile, sustaining conservation by minimizing human wildlife conflict is of essence. Collections uh, to the communities in what we call uh, revenue sharing and uh, just for last year we gave out uh, about 4.1 billion shillings in revenue sharing to the communities of this country. A raft of legal reforms attached to conservation, including the Museum and Monuments Bill, which is in the offing. But I have been uh, informed that it is at the cabinet level. It has been, the principles have been approved. So when it comes, we shall deal with it. But uh, currently we are handling uh, the Wildlife Amendment Bill. Apart from 100 billion shillings in government of Uganda budget support, the World Bank has since marshaled $23 million for private sector competitiveness in tourism. It's, it is possible that if we continue with this pace, with the reforms within the, with the ministry, reforms within the sector, we, we might get these numbers. Raina Ojon, NTV Weekend Edition.